Welcome to the Toon Partner Marketing Platform. Offer testing is crucial to ensuring traffic reaches the intended destination and conversions reach your network. The best way to test an offer is to complete it organically. This means completing the offer itself as if you were an end user. You can do so by clicking on your test tracking link found in the tracking section of the offer. This will lead you to the landing page of the offer and you can then complete the offer requirements to log a conversion. If your offer uses targeting or other restrictions, you can use the test link of the offer to bypass those restrictions when testing. This only applies to the test link itself. Regular partner links will need to satisfy the restrictions of the offer to be directed to the landing page. Once you have completed the offer, navigate to your Reports tab and select the Conversion Report. You should then see your conversion on the report. Sometimes, completing the offer is not an option. In these cases, you can test the offer manually by firing the conversion URL in your browser. It is important to note that manual testing will bypass the advertiser system and will log conversions in your Tune network only. You will not see manually tested conversions on your advertiser's reports. Testing server postback URLs includes using developer tools in your browser. For the purpose of this video, we will show the process using Chrome's developer tools. However, other browsers have similar tools. Before getting started, open a new window and then right-click to expose the Tools menu. Select Inspect from the menu, which then opens the Developer Tools tab. Click the Network tab and select Preserve Log to ensure you see all redirections. Next, copy the postback URL from your offer and paste it in a notepad or document. Remove the capitalized transaction ID from the postback, as this is where we will paste the actual transaction ID from Click. Back to your new window, Copy and paste the test link from your offer and click Go. Once you reach the intended landing page, switch to the Developer Tools window to grab the transaction ID from Click. In the Developer panel, select the Headers tab. The transaction ID value is 30 characters long, contains both numbers and letters, and usually starts with numbers like 101, 102, or 103. The transaction ID can usually be found in a field labeled Transaction ID. You can also find it embedded in the URL. Copy the transaction ID and paste it in your notepad or document, replacing the capitalized transaction ID with the actual transaction ID you found. Next, copy the entire postback URL and paste it in the same window as you used to trigger the click. Once you hit go, you will see a white page with a response message. If you see success equals true, a conversion was logged in your two network, and you can navigate to the conversion report to see further details. If you see success equals false, a rejected conversion was logged in your network, and you will see more details by running your Event Tracer report. 